Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sochi. I am the Thrifted Mama here on YouTube and Instagram. I am a reseller and a stay-at-home mom. Today's video is going to be a what sold video. This is going to be my first what sold video, so bear with me. I'm going to learn how to kind of show you guys what sold this week for me. I've been reselling for almost two years now and I have been kind of inconsistent with posting and all that life gets in the way I do have two little girls this week's sales have been really close to what I had in my best month yet which was January 2023 I'm gonna try to not make this uh too long but I will give you the breakdown of the week first so I'm probably going to switch between my computer and my phone so here I'm going to be pulling up and I will probably enter a picture right here so for this week we sold and by we, I mean me. <laughs> I sold $2,282 worth of items. That number right there is total revenues. It does include cost of goods, fees, and shipping for some platforms. My total profit was $1,300. 86 which is pretty great for me. I did sell 67 items compared to the prior week um, being 60 items. I listed 104 items and my average sale price was $34 which is amazing. I do tend to source from the bins mostly so um, I would love to see that number stay around 30 35. I did sell more on eBay. Mercari actually did show up because I'm sure if you sell on Mercari, you know that it's pretty dead over there. Um, I'm just going to give you a little breakdown of my top selling brands. Torrid, 511 Tactical, uh, Nike, Spanx, and Lululemon. Those are not a surprise to me because I love picking those items up. And then top selling categories, jeans, pants, tops, athletic shoes, and athletic pants all being in the women's category, which makes sense because I would say 95% of the items that I pick up are geared towards women. All right, so I'm going to go through my week on Poshmark, then go through my week on eBay, and then Mercari. Mercari will be the shortest, I guarantee you that. Let's start off with September 24th, Sunday. I sold this cabbie blazer jacket. It was like a peplum style, size 12. And I got it at the bins. It sold for $27 and my profit was right around $17. I would recommend picking up Cabbie in certain styles. Make sure that it is a good size. Second item are these Fall Raven track pants. They're kind of like a hiking trouser. They sold for $54. I did find these at a swap meet. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have saw that. I got them for $3, which is an amazing cost of goods. I profited right around 38. Next thing I sold on Poshmark on Sunday were these Converse. They were these red printed Converse size 9 women's. Someone sent me an offer for $25 and I did accept. My cost of goods was $6.67 which I'm guessing was an average of some shopping trip. I do not know exactly when because I have had these for a while but I did profit $13.33. Next item that sold on Poshmark on Sunday were these Free People harem shorts. Harem shorts? I'm not really sure. It's just this cute little embroidered acid wash baggy shorts. They didn't have a size, but I just included the measurements. I've had this for a while, mostly just like in a death pile because I didn't get to take measurements. And so they eventually sold for $21. I am actually unsure what my cost of goods were because I have had this for a while. But I would say it's right around um, $5. So I profited about $9 to $10. I wouldn't recommend that. Um, I priced them a little lower just because they didn't have a size. But this style sold pretty quickly once I did list them. Next item that sold, these Tom's Wedge Booties. They were these really cute leopard print, cheetah print style. They sold for $22. I profited just around $11. Next item that sold were these Alberts men's sneakers. They were a size 11. My cost of goods says $4.50, but I cannot remember where I purchased these, but I do know that they sold in less than a month. Okay, never mind. I did get these at a military thrift store, and the last pair was also from the same place. They sold for $24. My cost of goods was $4.50, so I profited just around $17. Next item that sold on Poshmark were these Rag & Bone Dre 10-inch 
skinny low rise jeans size 28 i did find these at the bins a while ago um back in january and they sold for $32. I profited just around $22. Next item that sold, Anthropology Pilcrow in the letterpress wide leg button fly dark wash jeans. I love finding this kind of style in all sorts of brands. They were a great size being a 31. They were petite. I still wanted to pick them up just because of the size and the style and the brand. And I did find them for $9 at my local Savers. And they sold for $35, making my profit around $19. Next item is Rag and Bone High Rise Ankle Skinny Jeans. They sold for $28. I've had these for a while, so I put my cost of goods as a dollar. And I'm guessing I got them from the bins last year. My profit was $19.38. Next item that sold, these Nike Golf Men Dry Fit Chino Pants. They sold for $24. This was an offer to Likers. I found them at the bins and my profit was right around $15. I would recommend picking up dry fit um, golf pants. I just don't know if they sell very quickly. I did list them in February, so it did take a while. Next item that sold are these Everlane straight leg crop brown like rust color pants. They were super cute and a size 16. I found them at Savers for $7.50 and they sold for $35 and that made my profit right around $20. My Savers here and regular thrift stores are pretty expensive. I try to make my bottom price $30 to $35 so I can at least double my money. Sometimes I don't get lucky but this was an excellent example of that. Next thing that sold were these Boggs insulated boots. These were a youth size 3. I found these at the bins and I'm pretty sure I put them in a haul. And they sold for $27. The buyer sent me an offer. I was glad to accept and my profit was right around $18. Next item was this UCSC pullover sweater. I kind of wanted to experiment with college wear. Um, I didn't have like great expectations. This did sell from an offer um, and they offered me $10 so I did take it. I did get it from the bin so I profited just about $5 which is not great but now I know. Next sale is this Patagonia Cinchilla. It was a size medium. It's super cute Aztec print. I found it at the bins and it sold for $55. This was an offer from a buyer. We did kind of go back and forth but I kind of wanted to have a 55 like a $50 mark uh, sale and I did accept her $55 I profited just about $42 next item that sold was this Knox Rose plaid jacket it was very thick I found it at the bins and I got an offer from a buyer she offered me $20 and I accepted. I profited $14.50. I love picking up Knox Rose only in extra large and up. Um, I thought that I would take a chance because this was new with tags, but usually I only pick up the like embroidered, boho, like lag and look type of stuff. This was kind of like an experiment and I'm like, I'm happy with 20 bucks. Next item that sold, I actually just put this in my recent haul. This was a Nike woman's dry fit long blue, long sleeve blue shirt. And it was a woman's XL. I sold it for $15. This was an offer from a buyer and I accepted, making my profit just around $10, which is perfect for me because I did get them from the bins. Next item that sold was this pair of J. Crew suede pumps. I like picking up J. Crew shoes only at the bins but they don't go for a lot. So this person offered me $15, I accepted, and I profited just around $9. Not my favorite kind of transaction. I do want to get at least a $10 profit, especially from shoes, um, but I'm excited to see those go. I only had them for about a month, so that's a win for me. Next thing that sold are these Judy Blue skinny jeans. They had this like camo patch around the ankle. I love picking up Judy Blue. They sell quickly. I have 100% sell through rate with them. So I do grab them every time I find them for a low enough cost. I did pay $8.25 for these at my local savers and them selling for 26 gave me a $10 profit. So I'm fine with that. I do prefer to find them at the bins, of course, and um, at a lower price, but 
they did move very quickly in nine days. I did forget to mention that the day we're talking about right now, I did send out 30% offers. So they're so slightly under what I listed them for, but either way, I'm really excited to get things moving. The next thing that sold are these Lululemon Dance Studio crop pants. They were size 10. I found them at Savers and I paid right around $7 for them. They sold for $26, so I profited $11.78. Next item that sold is the swimsuit by Cupshe. It was new with tags. I found it at the bins. It sold for $17 and I profited just about $10. I do like picking up Cupshe if it's new with tags. Only at the bins though, it doesn't sell for a whole lot. I believe this is like an Amazon brand or very similar to like the fast fashion realm, but if I find it at the bins, I'm gonna give it a second chance. Next item that sold is this Anthropology New Attacks Maeve blouse. It had an open bag. I actually had it in my last haul video. It sold very quickly for $33. I did find this at a swamp meet, so my cost of goods was $3, and I profited $21, which is amazing for me. Next item that sold was this cost alpaca wool purple short sleeve sweater i did find this at the bins i had it in a sweater shave pile for a minute uh, i finally got it listed and it sold very quickly in four days for $18. This was an offer from the buyer so i profited $12.90. Next item that sold is this pair of clark's outdoor rock purple training shoots shoes <laughs> women's size seven and a half I found these at Salvation Army, I believe, a while ago, and I paid $4.81. They sold for $24, making my profit right around 12 bucks. I like picking up Clark's if my cost of goods are low enough. Um, they don't sell super fast, but I haven't had a problem with moving them. Next item that sold is this Kashyyyk, Kashyyyk, Lane Bryant bra it was new without tags and it sold for $24 I found these at the bins so my cost of goods was $150 and I profited just around $15 next item that sold is this ASOS tiered ruffle dress I tend to not pick up ASOS just because like it's very similar to Forever 21 H&M and those kind of brands fast fashion it doesn't really sell well on secondhand markets but I was really excited about this piece because it was substantial it was a size 14 and the color was really pretty i got an offer from a buyer for 29 dollars so i did accept my cost of goods was 150 because i got it at the bins and i profited just around 21 dollars next item that sold is this lululemon crew neck sweater this was in my last haul it was a men's size medium it sold for 46 dollars this was an offer from a buyer i got a lot of attention on this sweater on both Poshmark and eBay. I found it at the bin, so my profit was right around $35, which is great. It was a very quick turnaround time, being only two days. Next item that sold was this Vince shift dress. It was short sleeve. I found it at the Swap Me a few weeks ago. It took less than a month to move. I sold it for $24. This was an offer to Likers and I profited just around $16, which is great. I kind of expected to hold on to this just because it was an older tag, but I figured for my cost of goods being only a dollar, I wanted to try. Next item is this Columbia Pink Girls sweater. I've been really enjoying picking up outerwear, sweaters, fleeces from the bins just because they turn around pretty quickly around this time. And this sold for $16 and I profited just around $9, which to me is okay for a kid's item. Um, and it, it sold very quickly. All right, so I'm going to show you guys my Mercari sales. It's not that many, <laughs> to be honest, but I have had a good amount of Mercari sales for it being you know not a great platform for me so the first item these on cloud running shoes i priced them pretty high just because i do send out aggressive offers and they surprisingly sold for full asking price on mercari which is quite insane my cost of goods was right around nine dollars and 33 cents this was an average from a pretty big savers haul like two weeks ago not to mention that they sold in two days which is just great my profit was right around $57, which 
it was exciting to get that notification that they sold it's just very rare for mercari next item that sold were these torrid faux leather high-rise pants they were a size 14. i believe i found these at a navy thrift store my cost of goods was two dollars and i profited just around twenty dollars so that was a great sale. I love picking up Torrid and the faux leather pants style is still in. So anything that I find that's like plus size or just really good quality, I tend to pick up. They tend to sell very quickly. Next item that sold was this West Elm Chunky Knit sweater. My friend from the bins actually gave this to me. I don't normally sell blankets, so I thought, let's try it. The buyer actually messaged me asking if I would take 30. I believe I had it listed for... I would say like 40 45 so i sent over the offer i was totally fine with that price point i didn't want to have to store it so that was exciting and my profit was just around 23 bucks next item that sold were these aritzia wilfred pants the author gray trousers they were wide leg they were beautiful i found them at the bins it was kind of exciting because i saw the tag and a lady like grabbed them and then threw them back she must have not known what they were or like wasn't what she was looking for the buyer sent me a 75 dollars offer my cost of goods was 150 so i profited just around 63 dollars which is just love me some of ritzia ending mercari off strong i sold some zero barefoot dream barefoot dreams oh my gosh barefoot shoes they sold for my full asking price of 70 dollars these retail for right about 100 but these were in like new condition they had a little bit of dust but not a whole lot of wear at all to the tread like it looked like they'd never actually been worn I was really excited when I saw the notification that my item was bought outright. I don't normally send out offers on Mercari just because it's like another extra task for me to do. My cost of goods on these shoes were $3. I found them at the swap meet, so I profited just around $57. It's just an amazing profit. All right, if you're still watching, I appreciate you. I'm sorry if this is kind of messy. I didn't fully plan on making this video, but now I'm here and I'm just, I'm, we're just winging it. So hopefully it's not too chaotic. <laughs> All right, so let's go through my eBay sales. Starting off with September 24th, I sold these Lululemon Gold Crusher Harbor Blue running shorts. They sold for $20. They were flawed. They had like a little paint mark on the back and then the zipper didn't zip close um so someone sent me a 20 dollar offer i was totally cool with that i got them at the bin so my cost of goods was 150 i profited just about 14 dollars next item that sold on ebay was this kate spade bright neon pink sleeveless top it was 100 percent silk size 8 i found this at a navy thrift store for three dollars i was i believe that was like the average cost of goods for that trip it sold for 25 dollars plus shipping and my profit was just around 14 dollars next item that sold was this victoria's secret pink velvet black triangle strappy bralette size large i found this at the bins it sold for 13 dollars plus shipping bras are something that are easy to list and they tend to move relatively quickly and they don't go for a huge price point but they're easy to store they don't take up a whole lot of room so i profited just around seven dollars not amazing but i would do it again i apologize for the lighting it's going to kind of like switch back and forth but i'm gonna try to hurry up next item that sold was this lululemon new with tags swiftly tech v-neck short sleeve top i actually bought this from someone that posted it on my local auction page i ended up winning it for four dollars it sold for 33 dollars and 88 cents i'm not sure why it sold for such a weird number but i profited just around 21 dollars next item that sold are these Spanx new tags faux leather leggings black pull-on size large i found these at savers my cost of goods was right around 8.25 <laughs> words i'm getting like caught up in like <laughs> talking they sold for 64 dollars and 80 cents which is an amazing price and i profited just around 40 bucks which is great next item that sold are these good american good leg skinny jeans they were a size 28 i found them at the bin and it sold for 31.50 and my profit was just around $24. Next item that sold is this Uniqlo full zip 
soft shell jacket. I found it at the bins. I wanted to experiment with this brand. It sold for $25 and I profited just around $20. Next item that sold were these torrid floral teal lace high-waisted shorts. They sold for $15. I found them at the bins. I've had them for a while but I relisted them so it says that they sold in four days but that's not true um, and I profited just around $9. Next item is also torrid. They sold for $13 these were bombshell skinny jeans i think i'm going to stop picking up torrid denim unless it's like a more trendy straight or boyfriend style i profited six dollars which isn't amazing but i did get them from the bin so it's not really a loss next item that sold are these airy real me pocketed leggings they were the 7 8 length black leggings they sold for $22.50. I found them at the bins and my profit was just around $14, almost $15. I like picking up Airy. It's not a huge sale, but if I do find them at the bins, I'm totally cool with picking them up. Next thing that sold were these 511, 511, 511 tactical dart 10 inch shorts. They sold for $31.50. My profit was just around $24. They sold overnight very quickly. Um, don't skip on 5.11. 5.11 tactical stuff. Is that how you say it? I'm not even sure. It's a really good brand to resell. Next item that sold are these ABO Slide Sandals Woman Size 10. I have definitely had these for a while. It says that I listed them a month ago, but I relisted them. They sold for $20. I profited seven um, because shipping was more than what I charged. I kind of learned to charge a little bit more for shipping. So if they would have sold for this price plus what I would have charged, I would have profited about $10, which is fine for me. Um, but yeah, that was on me. <laughs> All right, another 511 Tactical. This was a polo short sleeve men's extra large. I found this at the bins and it sold fairly quickly and I profited $15. Unfortunately, I did sell this Everlane Parka or Anorak jacket. It sold for $50 plus shipping. My cost of goods was right around $12.50 for this item, but I totally missed a whole big flaw. So this item is going to be returned to me. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna be able to fix it, but um, just a heads up, you should pick up these items, but make sure there's no flaws. Next item that sold was this Zara wool blend crew neck sweater. It sold for $27. I found it at the bin. I profited $16, almost $17. So I would recommend listing all your like thick wool cashmere sweaters. They do tend to sell very quickly around this time of the year. Next thing that sold was this 511 tactical short sleeve same style same size i believe these were all from the same person um and i profited just around 14 dollars it sold very quickly next item that sold were these lululemon swift speed high rise speckle trail black leggings size four i found these at savers my cost of goods was around ten dollars i think that was like an overestimate um so i profited just around 29 dollars um, yeah, Lululemon is a really good brand for you to pick up. I will pay up about 15 bucks for certain styles just because I know that they're going to move. They sold for, and if I didn't mention, they sold for $45 plus shipping. Next item that sold were these Spanx New Tags cropped leg, cropped wide leg white pants. I was a little nervous picking up white because there is the saying we don't like wear white after Memorial Day but they were new with tags and wide leg and a large. Fun fact these were actually like seven dollars or so. They were marked half off so they had been there for a while. I don't know if someone returned them or what but yeah um, my average cost of goods for that trip at Savers if I didn't already say I'm getting mush brain um was nine dollars and thirty cents so they sold for seventy six dollars and ninety five cents plus shipping my profit was right around forty seven dollars which is great i love that i do want to mention that if you are kind of like where the heck are the fees and stuff like that i do run promotions and ads and x y and z my husband does a lot of that so i don't know 
a lot of the information for that and I could probably do a video about it and learn a little bit more but um yeah I pay ad fees and that is why my fees are a little bit bigger than what you would expect. Next item that sold was this Free People Intimately Henley Top. It sold for $18 plus shipping. I found this at the Navy Thrift Store so I paid $2 and my profit was right around $11. It wasn't extra small and it sold in a month so I mean I can't really ask more from Free People. <laughs> it doesn't tend to sell super quickly but it being an extra small it sold very fast next item that sold was the sam edelman wide calf riding boot they were a size 10 they were new i found them at the bins for three dollars and i profited just around 42 dollars i believe i profited closer to 47 just because I put that I paid for a large box. I believe I got them in a medium box um, for shipping so it's a little bit skewed. They sold very quickly and for a really good price. Next thing that sold was this Patagonia vintage sling bag fanny pack shoulder bag type of thing. Got this at the swap meet. I paid just around three dollars. It sold for 33 and it profited just around 23 um yeah i saw patagonia and i was like sure let's grab it it was in my most recent haul it sold the same day so yeah not uh not too bad next item that sold was the citron santa monica floral silk blouse it sold for 54 dollars. i found this at the bins and i profited just around 39 um yeah this was a really good sale i love picking up this brand larger sizes do well but honestly i don't think i've ever no that's a lie i have found a smaller size but for the most part i have been finding plus size or larges so that's always great and yeah this brand is highly sought after i think it's a vintage brand but it's known for their like really abstract silk pieces um, tends to sell for a really good price so if you come across it definitely pick it up next item that sold was this carbon 38 metallic leggings they were this blue shiny color size large I found this at Salvation Army and they were marked up to like $10 my average cost of goods for that trip was $8.50 um, they sold for $49.50 overnight which is which was honestly shocking i didn't expect it to sell that quickly but maybe carbon 38 is still kind of like a poppin brand um, my profit was right around 28 dollars next item that sold were these spanx booty boost active 7 8 legging tie-dye white they were an extra large i found them at a army thrift store air force thrift store and my cost of goods was a dollar because they had dollar day i believe and yeah uh they sold pretty quickly within two weeks for 32 dollars and i profited just around 25 yeah i really love picking up spanx spanx is like on the top of like top five brands i will almost always pick up especially in the bigger sizes next thing that sold was this barefoot dreams zip up hoodie i've never found the zip ups i've found the cardigans multiple times but this was exciting it was a size large so it was really tempting for me to keep but i knew that i have no use of it in hawaii um it sold for 45 dollars which is great and i profited just around 31 i would recommend picking up barefoot dreams especially around this time of the year i tend to find a lot of barefoot dreams at the bins just because like that fabric is really easy to like spot and especially when you grab it you just like I just have a feeling like this is gonna be barefoot dreams next thing that sold was this North Face quarter zip fleece white sweater woman size extra large I got it at the bins and it sold for $27 this was in my most recent haul as well it was a quick turnaround time. It sold in a day. Um, I profited just around $19. The next thing that sold is this Victoria's Secret pink floral zip up hoodie. I've had this for a while. I no longer pick up pink just because it does not sell for me. Um, this is the type of item I would just like take to Play-Dohs if I had to buy it, but I don't buy it anymore. I got this at the bins. My profit 
was $10.62. If I did mention it sold for $16. If it sold quickly, I would consider picking it up more often, but it just doesn't move for me. Next thing that sold was this 525 America Cashmere Blend dress. I thought that it would move a lot faster than it did. It sold for $25.25.20. $25 I believe I listed this back in January, so it's been a minute. But yeah, I thought that the style would sell itself, and it did. It just took a little longer than expected. But from the bins, I can't really complain. I profited just around $16. Next item that sold was this Free Country Girls 4T jacket. Funny story, I actually sold this back, I would believe, like, in November of last year and it got returned to me and yeah then I resold it so that kind of just showed me that I should probably accept returns because it's going to resell eventually it sold for $20 and I profited just around 10 I would only grab this brand if it was at the bins and I'm not even sure where I got it um, and why I got it but I do like picking up outerwear pieces like I've said before but I don't think Free Country is a brand that I'm going to actively seek out. Next item that sold was this Torrid Chunky Knit sweater. It was a 4X and I found it at the bins. It sold for $18 with free shipping. I don't know why it had free shipping. I have relisted this item but I believe I forgot to add the shipping back on. I used to do free shipping like last year but then i realized it didn't make a huge difference uh so yeah my profit was seven dollars i'm not mad about it i'm glad to see it gone because i've had it for a minute uh, usually 4x sells a lot quicker than this piece did we're getting to the end of the sales uh i sold this nike dry fit racerback women's size large sports bra it sold for 18 dollars plus shipping my profit was right around $11.50. I found this at the bins. It sold very quickly. Like I said in my haul video, I like picking up Nike, but pretty much in exclusively large or extra large and up. It tends to sell faster than small or medium. On a slow day, I will pick those sizes up. I just don't recommend it. Next item that sold were these Levi's 710 skinny jeans. I do not pick up Levi's anymore unless it's the rib cage or wedgie or any other like very trendy current styles. This one was not and I've had it for a while. It was one of the free shipping items. Uh, it sold for $21.60. I'm going to be profiting just around $5. My husband put the shipping cheaper than it's going to be on to Ventu, but I will be profiting just around five bucks. All right, so we're down to the last two items that sold on eBay. I sold these UGG Neutra, Neutra sneakers, black women size nine. I've had these for a while. I found them at Savers, I believe. My cost of goods was right around $9. They sold for $40 plus shipping. And my profit was right around $25. Uggs in all types of styles sell pretty well for me. These just took a minute. But I do really like picking Uggs, especially if my cost of goods are like $10 or less. All right, last item is this Karen Cade white plaid metallic buttoned button down flannel it was a 1x which was a factor in me picking up i have never sold this brand before but i decided to try it and it sold for 27 dollars. it sold very quickly my profit was right around 21 dollars. so i'm really excited i would pick this up again and especially it being an extra large 1x that was just a really good sell so yeah that's all that i sold this week i hope this video wasn't too long and i hope that it was a little helpful for you to see what is actually selling right now let me know if you like these kind of videos i do like watching them myself but i think next time i might do a little shorter just kind of highlighted items let me know if you rather see like top sales or if you rather see like all the sales i know that it's helpful to kind of see like as a reseller to kind of see like okay she sold them for this i probably shouldn't pick that up because you know clearly she's not it's not moving or it moved and it's for not a great price 
or this is really good I should pay up and you know this will probably sell a lot better let me know what you guys think we're getting into quarter four I don't know if it already started but I know that the last few months are the money making months so I'm excited to see how sales go for October, November, and December. I am filming this on October 1st, so I hope you guys have an amazing sales month. Thank you for watching. Please give it a like, subscribe if you want to see more of me. I have Instagram and all my links down below. So if you want to follow me, chit chat, like any of my items on my platforms, I will appreciate it. And I always share the love back. Until next time, bye!